What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel and today is going to be a very different episode than what I've done before. I've realized that I've never done an introduction video so that's what today is about. So I don't really know where to begin so I'll just start from the beginning. Uh, November 10th 1990 your boy was born. Here I am, right? So came out the womb busting out ready for life ready to conquer. That's not really what I did though. I kind of just lived my life in Orlando. It's where I'm from, Orlando, Florida. Um, until I met my wife in 2006. Um, and that's when I guess you can say, I, we kind of just, I don't know. That's kind of where my life begins. Everything before that, like I was a kid, you know, like I'm growing into adulthood. So I met her, we both graduated from the same, uh, same high school. We then went to Southwest Florida. During this time, I skateboarded a lot. I just picked up surfing, just picked up fitness. Um, naturally, I was about 145 pounds, and I was like, that's not enough. Your boy needs to get bigger. So I started working out, started hitting the gym, read all like bodybuilding.com articles, started taking a bunch of supplements. Um, I got a membership to LA Fitness, and that's just kind of where it all began. So did all that, started working out continually, Stopped a little bit when I went to Fort Myers, um, kind of just focusing on school and work a lot. I still worked out occasionally, maybe like three, four days a week, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that that's like hardcore working out. That's just going to the gym, I guess. Um, didn't really pay attention to what I ate. At this point, I'm like 165 pounds. My wife graduates, uh, graduates from Florida Gulf Coast. We then go back to UCF. I graduate from UCF with my degree in anthropology. At the time, I was working for Billabong, the surf company. Um, towards that time, I'm thinking about 2014, I got up to about 185, 190 pounds. Uh, in my opinion, I was pretty shredded, probably around 8% body fat, maybe a little less, maybe a little higher. I never really formally measured it. Um, but my, my diet, from my perspective that I look at now, wasn't very healthy. I was consuming probably about two to three pounds of meat a day. Um, I had my little six pack bag that had the little compartments and all the little meals in it. So that's what I was consuming. Um, you know, just carbs, chicken, pretty boring meals. There wasn't a bunch of color. It wasn't a bunch of flavor. Uh, and you know, I, at the time I wanted to compete, maybe do some men's physique and NPC. Uh, but I ended up not doing that. Um, I then, we, I then said I graduated from there with my degree in anthropology. Why anthropology you may ask? Well, I want to be Indiana Jones, or at least at the time I did. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to still do it. I would have to go to grad school. I just don't see that in the cards just yet. Um, there's some other things coming up that I want to accomplish first. So maybe eventually I'll go back to be Indiana Jones. But if you got a degree in anthropology, go ahead and leave it in the comments below because that's awesome and there's not many of us out there. <laughs> and I'm curious to know what you're doing for a job if you're actually working in the field because currently I am not. Um, which is cool with me. That's fine. So on Instagram, I was known as forever bulking and I say as known being like more of my friends and stuff. I probably had like 1200 followers or whatever, but they were just pretty much just friends that I knew and whatnot and just some acquaintances. Um, and I didn't really take the whole Instagram thing very seriously, the personal branding, any of that until about probably about this August. So then eventually me and my wife got married. We've been married now for Oh, I don't know, two and a half years, <laughs> about two and a half years. So we've been together since I was 15, turning 16, and then I'm now 27. <laughs> I'm old. All right, but yeah, I'm 27. So at this time, I was starting to take content seriously, starting to take the gym more seriously. Um, I've been doing video production and of my surfing videos and whatnot since high school. Um, so that's kind of where like I, I do have a little bit of background in video production. Um, I started surfing even more. So come was it, March of last year, I started, we went to California to go visit, uh, came back, that's around the time What the Health came out, it's about time Vegucated, um, I started watching Earthlings, like all this stuff kind of coming to fruition of like my feed and my social media platforms and whatnot. And I was looking at it and I was like, Man, I was like, maybe this isn't like the healthiest or more, most sustainable way for the earth, myself, and just, you know, humans in general. So I toyed with the idea of a vegan diet. Eventually I did, 
um, pretty soon after watching all those, like within weeks. Uh, and I did it overnight. I was like, that's it. I'm done. Not eating meat, not eating dairy. I'm just going straight vegan. So that's what I did. And then I was, I was thinking like, okay, so I'm vegan. Now what? And I hate being stagnant in life. Like I always like to strive towards something. If I'm in one position and a job or just in life in general and not actually progressing personally or professionally, like it drives me absolutely insane. Like I always need something to do. So I was like, well, why don't I just start creating like the Instagram, building the Instagram, building the YouTube or creating YouTube. Really? I just really use YouTube before for my little, uh, like surf videos I put up. If you go like deep into it, like a couple years ago, it's all the little short videos I made of me surfing. And I, God, I was a bad surfer then. But it, it's been a long time, so I'm I'm a little bit better now. I'm just a little bit better. Uh, so if you know how to do an air on a surfboard, message me below because your boy's struggling. It's kind of hard to do in Florida. I need better waves. But I've seen people do it here, so that's not, I'm not one to complain. Um, so I changed my Instagram from Forever Bulking to the Swole Surfer. My wife came up with that, or we came up with it together. It's kind of like a play on words. Like I, I wanted the brand to be towards like fitness, which hence the word swole and surfing, surfer, um, and kind of play on the words of soul surfer and stuff. So I thought it was pretty cool. If you don't think it is, then that, that's okay, because that's what that's what I take. But my name's Daniel, so you can just call me Daniel too. That's completely fine. But you have to have the persona. I mean, you probably don't. I just didn't want it to be like Daniel Torres fit. Like that's just not. That's just not me. I'm not fit. At least I don't think I am. Maybe more than the average person. I don't know. So after I was like 190 pounds jacked, uh, I then hovered around like 170 for, I don't know, a couple years. Uh, went vegan, dropped down about 165. Pretty much all of that was just body fat because my fat intake was drastically lower. Uh, my calories, since I was kind of learning what to eat, was drastically lower as well. So I used my fitness pal a lot. It definitely helped. Um, started building the brand, started connect, connecting with other like-minded individuals, um, engaging with others in their content. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Like what's the future from here? I don't know. There is one very important life-changing event that's going to happen and I can't tell you yet. Um, I would like to have the video up in about a week or so, but I kind of want my wife here to be in the video as well. So kind of waiting for our schedules to align so where we can sit down for five to 10 minutes and kind of give that information out which it's gonna be huge. I don't think you're ready. You might think you're ready, but you're not. Uh, so that, that's pretty much what I've done with my life. Uh, it's pretty much just been me and my wife. That's, we pretty much just conquered it all together. She's a teacher. If you're wondering, or if you're wondering what she does, she teaches first grade. Uh, she has a YouTube channel as well called Bunny's Classroom. And her name's also Bunny's Classroom on Instagram. I'll go ahead and link those down below. Go ahead and check out her stuff. She's better at it than I am. I just suck, but it's okay. We do it together. And a lot of these ideas are actually hers because I'm not very creative. I know how to do this stuff, like technology. But she's the creative mastermind. So I give her the credit for that. But if you have any questions you want to ask me or you want me to do another video, maybe like, you know, five things you want to know about me or whatever, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below because I'm curious. To me, like, I don't think to do... I guess like answering questions videos because it's my life. I live it every day and I just feel like people aren't interested in it. Maybe you guys are. And if you are, that's freaking awesome. Just let me know because uh, I'd like to keep putting out content. Now, as you guys know, every Tuesday right here on this channel is Coffee Talk Tuesday. Don't worry because I do do it every day as well on Instagram. So head on over to my Instagram at Swole Surfer and make sure you go ahead and follow that. And I also just downloaded a new app called Vero. So I'm still kind of figuring it out. They have a lot of networking uh, server issues. So if you're on Vero, feel free to add me there as well or Snapchat, Twitter, all the same username. I'm on pretty much every platform you could think of. So until next time, thank you for hearing my very boring story and I'll see you later. Peace.